with your eyes, you will not be able to wrap your mind around. Huh? Yes, we are talking about the strange, the beautiful, and even the bizarre. Children, hold on to your lollipops. Ladies, hold tight to those garter signs. It is my honor to introduce to you America's favorite sideshow couple. He is the dangerous and she is the devious. He is the most industrious and she the most illustrious. He is the famous, she is the infamous. He is the most impervious, she is the most pervious. He is the most intoxicating and she is the most intoxicated. He pushes the limits, she loves to push his buttons. He has made a career by saying, watch this here. She has made a career off the slogan, here, hold my beer. Pierce Morgan on America's Got Talent called them the two most disgusting people in America. Ripley's Believe It or Not called them two of the greatest sideshow performers of all time. So now, put aside those stresses of life, and for the next few moments, you are invited to run away with the circus. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you America's favorite sideshow couple, Captain and Mabel. All right, here's everybody clap your speech. Each and every one of you arrived, you were all going to have the opportunity to witness amazing feats of human strength and endurance. Ooh, and she is strong. Extra strong. Look at that. That's a vein. No, oh, that's that's a muscle. You got a new neck muscle, maybe? Ooh, she's been working out. We're talking about amazing feats of human strength and endurance. That's right, my friends, right before your very eyes. You us put our lives on the line so that you can be entertained. We're talking about the strange, the unusual, the bizarre. It is here today, my friends, and it's all alive, alive, alive. Now, if you're wondering who we are, we are Captain and Mabel. We are America's favorite sideshow couple. You doing your own sideshow? Why is that, Mabel? Because Poster one. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, but we put it on a poster first, so damn it, it's ours. No, actually, ladies and gentlemen, we got that title when we were on the National Talent Show, America's Got Talent. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. Way too kind. Way too kind. It's a horrible, horrible thing. Yeah. That's right, my friends. Well, if you can't tell from our bad attitudes and lack of footwear, we did not win a million dollars that nope. year. Oh. But something pretty cool happened. Sure did. Do you remember that time, Maybell? I sure do. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Maybell and I, we once decided we were going to go on a national talent show, 2008. I know you have that dress. Thanks for pointing that out in the middle of the show. All right. <laughs> we decided we were going to be on a national talent show. 2008 Captain and Maybell was born. And we decided the world needed to know who Captain and Maybell were. So what better way to do that? Go on that live national television show in front of millions and millions of viewers. Destiny has got to happen. Now, they're going to know who Captain and Maybell are. Well, sure to say that happened. Yeah. Remember that time, Maybell? Yeah. It was pretty unique. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we went in front of that crowd. We were standing there at the Fox Theater. Sold out crowd. Thousands of people were there. Staring right at us. We put it all on the line. And ladies and gentlemen, one of those judges said some words that changed our lives forever. Take a listen to this here. We're going to let you hear this. I'm going to say the words to you that I know will bring you the greatest joy. You two are, without any question, the two most disgusting people in America. Ah, yeah! And I mean, look around at you guys. That's a hell of an honor. No, really, look around. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I, 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 rather than just playing that little clip, I think we can do better than that. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I think what we're about to do is we're going to go back into time. We're going to take a stroll down memory lane. But it, I guess if we're going back in time, it's more like a back stroll. You got a back stroll? It's the opposite of a front stroll. It's just backwards. Give it a try. Let's see if maybe I've got a good old back stroll. Let me get out of the way here. Oh, if it makes a distance, huh? Let's see. 
<laughs> she has been practicing. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going back in the time. We're going back in the time to that day. That day that those judges looked up at us and what is this? That's right, you can be the best all day long. That's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you ready for this, Maybell? Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? 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 Are you ready to find out why we got dubbed the two most disgusting people in all of America? this weekend at the Tattoo Convention. <laughs> Once again, are you guys having a good time here at the Tattoo Convention? And I'm going to tell you, if you're here this weekend, you're not having a good time at the Tattoo Convention, tell them, Maybe. That's right, but we're having a freaking blast, and we're not going to stop yet. You know what? As I look amongst this incredibly good-looking crowd... Ooh, I think this is where you're supposed to clap, because you're so good-looking out there! Yeah! We see the non-clappers. We accept you too, my friend. It's, it's okay. It's cool. That's all right. You get better looking as the show goes on. Just wait. I sense that y'all like danger. Uh, up here on this stage. Now we gotta make sure, now ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, we went to, where were we? Omaha. Omaha, 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 Omaha Nebraska. Omaha. We were on stage and we realized not everybody's level of danger is the same. We looked at those folks in Omaha, Nebraska and we said, you guys like danger? And they go, yeah! <laughs> and then we did the stunt and they went, no! And we realized real quick, not everybody's level of danger is the same as ours. And our level of danger is way up here. Why is that, Maybelle? Because we party. Yeah, that's right. We, thought we freaking party, guys. So we set that level a lot higher than other, like other people out there. And this time we're about to do for you is by far one of the most dangerous. One of the most... Why allow me to pass? This stuff we're about to do for you is by far one of the most dangerous, one of the most respected stunts in all of Sideshow. You see, my friends, it's taken more lives in our industry than any other stunt. Statistics are that about one in every 240 million, 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 million people can actually do it. And you're about to see it here today, and it is all alive, alive, alive. alive. 
What would that sign be? What would it be? Well, I'm glad you guys asked. You're half as smart as you are good looking here today. Just about half of them. I'd say about half. Yeah, just about like half. Oh, it got a little more better looking. Look at this dapper gentleman that's coming right up. And that, my friends, would be the ancient art of sword swallowing. Ooh. 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 That was terrible. Man, that was horrible, baby. Well, you know, I don't. Generally, people like erupt and scream when we talk about it. It's, Usually, when I get the sword out, the crowd goes crazy. Bunkers, if you will. That's right. No, 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 no. That's called premature coagulation. If we do it three times. We'll all need antibiotics. Oh no, that was a different thing. Right? Yeah, that was something. Never mind, you guessed it. <laughs> you know what? I apologize, guys. We, we really look at ourselves as professionals, and generally, these things go correctly. If, if you don't mind, we get, we got to figure this out. When, no. Can you give us a moment, please? No, just please? excuse us for a moment, please. Maybe, could you come over here? I don't, I don't really understand what happened. We did everything we were supposed to. I talked about danger. I said one in every 240 million. That's a lot. You did the statistics. Statistics. When I did the echo thing, you did the hand thing. The... I did the hand thing. Well, I don't get it. it you know what? It couldn't have been us. <laughs> Come on, Mabel. I mean, we're the only people on stage. Who else's fault could it have been? Mm -hmm. Yep. Starting to figure this out. Sure am. You know what they say. I do. They say an entertainer is really only as good as their audience. And we're kind of sucking right now, guys. We're sucking bad, huh, Mabel? Let's just tell you what we're going to do. We're going to move forward, but we're going to act like we're way better entertainers. I know. Maybe like you're a way better entertainer. Because I'm already kind of killing it up here. Am I right? I like like I'm a way better entertainer. Well, I like there I completely. You're the best, pal. You're the best. We're gonna act like these people are a completely different audience. Or drunk. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Now. Oh, I know what will do it. Walk right back up here. I think they didn't see something. Right here? Yep. Getting sweaty over here, huh? Ooh, that thing is wet. Oh, that's not sweat. That's whiskey. All right, Maybell. Perhaps they didn't see that new neck muscle you got going on. Look at that right there. She ain't afraid to use that thing. I want you to get that sword, and I want you to raise that sword high into the air. Yeah. Wave it around like you're Zena the Warrior. Holy crap, what's that thing? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you how this is going to work. Now, we're going to give you one more chance to applaud the way that we expected to. If it don't happen, maybe I was going to do a double front somersault off the front of this stage. Do not try to run for the bear, because she will get you. I certain she looks. She's going to start whacking off heads right and left. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen, I said whacking off in public. <laughs> Blood's going to spill. Children, you're safe. She ain't high. I usually am. She's real high. I'm real high right That's now. right. All right, Maybell. Look them in the eyes one more time. Neck muscle. Zena. And what would that stunt be? What would it be? Why, ladies and gentlemen, that'd be the ancient art of swords. Why we? There are two. We're going to get their ass in the parking lot. That's how it's going to work. We're not going to take up any more of this time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people think it can't be real. How can you human being come here right here, right now, right before each and every one of your eyes? Take a sword that is 30 inches tall with a 24 inch solid steel blade. Raise that sword high into the air. Put the point in there to begin to push and begin to force it. Pass many vital organs until the point finally rests in the very pit. Oh, not that far down stomach. <laughs> This goes good. It's going to be amazing, right? You guys know what you're going to do. You're going to hoot and holler and scream like you're having a good time here. Yeah. But if it goes wrong, there's a darker, seedier underbelly of society who at that moment, sir, will be enjoying the show just as much. But he'll be out filming because he knows one thing. Stunts gone wrong. Get a lot of hits on YouTube. I have a few. He doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> so... 
Now, before I do this, ladies and gentlemen, we do have to do this quick public service announcement. Our insurance and, of course, the county officials to make us do this. Ladies and gentlemen and patrons of the Indy Tattoo Expo, please use caution when watching the following show. Everything that you see here is 100% real, and it is very important that you never, ever repeat anything that you see on this stage for two very important reasons. Now, the first reason is you could get hurt or killed attempting any of the following stunts. And dead people can buy tickets to our future shows. Oh, that would be so horrible. That would be so huh? sad. So sad. And then, of course, number two reason and the biggest reason of all is... We hate competition! Oh, it's a horrible, horrible thing. But I'm going to leave you with something. It can change your life. Guaranteed to change the life of those around you. You see, my friends, we wouldn't want you to go home and attempt anything. But this right here is quite amazing. You see, my friends, I always fell in love with the circus, the sideshow, and this tattooing industry for one reason. And that reason was called acceptance. They always accepted the freaks, the geeks, the weirdos and the rejects of society. Now you may have never heard of somebody by the name of Betty Broadbent, but you may have seen her in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. She was the tattooed lady, the illustrated lady, if you will. My friend, she covered her body in tattoos in a time that a lady did not do that. She joined up with the circus, traveled and performed with the sideshow all over this country, and guess what? People traveled from miles away to see how beautiful she was. Damn it, she was beautiful. The bearded lady. The bearded lady was billed as the most beautiful lady in the entire circus. And then, of course, people who were born different. We call them oddities. Many times, they were little people or people born with handicaps. And their families at times were so ashamed of them, they'd lock them up in institutions, or even better, sell them away to the circus. Well, guess what? The circus took them in. They gave them a means to make a living. They called them family, put them on a pedestal, and celebrated to the world that they made them different. So I don't know about you guys, but as long as we keep living in a society where people judge one another by the color of their skin, the shape of their body, who they choose to love, or the life they choose to live, as long as they're not harming anybody else, I think we can use more circus, more sideshow, and a hell of a lot more of this tattooing industry where we learn to love one another for so what's on the inside. We don't care about all that packaging on the outside. So ladies and gentlemen, when you leave here today, I hope you dance to the beat of your own drum. I hope you realize you're cut from your own cloth. And you take that cloth and you raise it high into the air and you're proud to show the world that that makes you different than them. And not only that, I hope you can look at somebody opposite of you and find beauty in them as well. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever been picked on or treated differently for being who you are, stay amazing and remember, we dedicate this next routine to you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why they call me just a little strange. For all you strange folks out there,
I see that out there. That was amazing. Can you see it out there? All right, I'm going to ask you guys in the back. Y'all want more? You guys over here want more? Everybody say more. More is my safe word. Hey, don't Unless you guys want more! Six! Unless you guys want more! What is wrong with you? How about seven? Ladies and gentlemen, seven swords totaling more than 14 feet of solid gold steel. This song is going to be stuck in all your heads the rest of the day. Okay, you're going to go watch the Karate Kid now. One more time for all the strange folks out there. Where are you at? Oh, so strange folks. Now what we didn't tell you at the beginning of our set is that we're going to finish up in just a moment with a world record breaking stunt. That's right ladies and gentlemen. We are about to attempt a world record breaking stunt right here before your very eyes live at the Indie Tattoo Expo. It's going to be pretty amazing. But you know what, before we do that stunt, I would hate to you for, for you to go into it not focused. So, I'm pretty focused. I'm pretty I mean, you, but you look pretty tired after well, swallowing Well, of course I'm sword. tired. It's not easy carrying this show by myself. I said that out loud, didn't I? Yeah, Thanks, baby, for noticing. I got a show to do. Yes, yeah, so I was simply got? going to suggest, if it's all right, with this incredibly good-looking crowd. Oh, okay. What would you like? So you can go over there and take a rest and collect your thoughts, and I can entertain you all by myself. No, <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't even have a stunt to do, baby. I have a stunt. Because I'm, I'm drunk. And I had a vision. No, 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 no. I had no, I told you we're not done. Well, yeah, well, could be in a jerk. I'm not a jerk. Guys, you don't understand. Look, me and Maybell, we were driving up. Thursday, we were driving all day. We were headed here. We were from Atlanta, Georgia. We're driving up here. We're having a good time. And by having a good time, I mean that she passed out the passenger seat so that I could drive faster and listen to the better music. Because she rode roofie. That's right. No, it was a Xanax, but either way. But uh, next thing you know, we're uh, on our way here. And Maybell, all of a sudden, she wakes up in that passenger seat and she screams, I see the future. A vision. Maybell, it was a dream. It's a vision. It was a dream. You were asleep. You woke up. It was a dream. A vision. And she said that in this dream, vision. that things were different. She said she saw the future. Vision. And the future was not like it always was. She said, look at this. She said that she was front and center, entertaining the whole time. And that I was nothing but a mere assistant in the back. Yeah, he's an ass. You do not pronounce the abbreviation. It was an assistant, you said. And she said that in this dream, that Vision. she actually... Look, guys. Vision. Captain and Maybell was born and bred in 2008. We've been on national television show. We paid for websites for years, CaptainMaybell.com. We have Facebook.com forward slash Captain and Maybell. We have banners. These are nice banners. Look. These are the good quality. This isn't cheap bread to crap. No, we spring for the good stuff. Look, Captain and Maybell, it has a good name to it, right? Captain and Maybell, it flows well. But oh, in this dream, Vision. she said that she actually saw the future. A that Vision. Vision. And that name, what was the name of the new show? Maybell's World Famous Sanctuary Surrogate Show Show. And? 
the captain too. Thank you, thank you. As she said, it's, I know, look, look, it, it, it's ridiculous. And you know what? Why would you say show show? It's a, it don't even make sense. Because I'm extra. <laughs> yeah. yeah! You're extra, all right. Double the pleasure, double the pleasure. Double the trouble, <laughs> double the bell. All right, now, and look, it gets worse. Now, you know what she actually said? In my vision. In her dream. She vision. said that she was up front. Get this. She said... She said that people were clapping for her, right? Oh, and it gets even crazier than that. She said they were even cheering and yelling for her. And it gets worse. She said they were chanting her name. chanting or anything. You guys even want to see me go do this here today? Is there not one single person who is willing for this girl's dreams to come true here today? There's, 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 there's seven of, there's sevens of six and five. I think there's eleven people that want to see it. She's pretty. She's pretty. All right, all right, here we go. Now maybe I'll just, uh, but we got to get this going. We got the world record breaking stunt. We've got some entertainment that's trying to get here to set up. We got to get this going now. What do you okay, need Okay, so I just need you to go up back there and get that sheet. This sheet? Yeah, there's a sheet back there. This one? Yeah. All right. Got it? All right, now I need you to spread it out right here. But I want you to do it like you're a magician. I want you to do it like a lot, like really magical. Put a lot of magic in it. Yeah? Yeah. Then you better back up. Why? There's a lot of magic here, baby. <laughs> Alright, put a lot of magic in it. Right. Don't build these skies up just to let them down. Like you do me. Whoa, that was magical. Did you see that? That gesture? Alright, now did you get that sack over there? Come over here, and I just need you to empty the contents right here. And be careful, it's a little heavy. I know, I know, ladies. It's mine, all mine. Back up. Yeah. All right. And be careful, it's sharp. It's my stuff, it's not your stuff. So, there you go. All right. Now, the second to last thing I need you to do is just go over the iPad and just start any music for me. And I can do this to any music. Come on now, listen. You didn't your vision. You didn't hear some music playing in the background. No, I can do this to any song, any music because any I'm, song. because I'm flexible. I think you mean versatile. <laughs> no flexible. Don't do watch this. All right, I'm ready for any song. Here we go. All right. Come on, this flexible. Get down. Get down. Right on my face. I was born 
can't stand up. Absolutely not. What? My daddy was a green eye. You know, 2020 proved to be a hell of a year. 2021 didn't prove to be much better. But guess what? My friends, we are all here. We're together right now. We are enjoying live entertainment, the greatest industry in the world, and that is tattooing together. So give yourselves all a big round of applause for coming out here today and supporting live entertainment. Woo! Now, ladies and gentlemen, after the show, well, obviously, we proudly stand up here and we accept tips from our fans. They do, are not required to at all. However, we encourage people, come on up here, help us tra continue traveling down the road, help keep the tradition of Sideshow alive, and of course, keep teaching acceptance out there to the world. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get to that part of the no, show where we do... No, we can do that, do thank you. Can we go ahead and talk? Can we do that? Yeah, sure. You talking about the thing we talked about last no, night? Yeah, I'll say. You need whiskey, huh? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, for a hundred bucks, you can take Maybelle home. What the hell? Let's talk about free high fives. Free high fives after the show, guys. I, I can free fix this. Fives. I can fix this. I can fix this. It's yeah. fine. I, I got it. For 300 bucks, I'll pick her up in the morning. <laughs> it's, it's a good deal. She's high maintenance. <laughs> Worth it. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to do that world record breaking stuff right here before your very eyes. I highly encourage you to get your cell phone out and record this While moment you tell right now. About that, I'm going to make sure you're physically. Whatever that means. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this stunt that we are about to do.
very first time I attempted it, I did on the National Talent Show. Gross. Your finger's slimy. All right, I did this uh, stuff for the very first time on the National Talent Show. America's Got Talent put my life on the line. It helped us push through to the top 48 out of 102,000 auditions that year. Helped us push all the way through. It was an incredible feat. Now, you may have also seen, right after that, we went to the Ripley's, believe it or not, in Orlando, Florida, and we set the world record for this stunt, right? Or you may have seen when that guy from across the pond took my title from me. Or you may have seen when we flew to Long Beach, California, we took that title back, but we're still holding it right now to this day. And we have brought it all the way here to Indianapolis to the... We brought it for you live here today. So without further ado, or as the great wise one, Fred Flintstone said, yabba dabba do, ladies all right, yeah, give me the hand thing. All right, you ready with this? All right, Indy Tattoo Expo, what are you ready for? A world record breaking stunt here today. All right, here we go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the death defying stunt known as the human scale, 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 scale. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Captain Maybell. Don't look away. This is called the Human Scale. Free high fives, and don't forget, $100 still. Ah! Uh, 